Meanwhile, the Ansaruddin Islamic Society is asking Nigerians to be patient with the President Bola Tinubu, but it also wants the federal government to repackage its belated programs in order for it to reach all Nigerians. This is just as some Muslim women in business are encouraging others to make use of lawful platforms to sell and buy products. Our correspondent Ibrahim Alege has details. The Ansaruddin Islamic Society of Nigeria will mark its 100th anniversary this December. This awareness work is part of activities marking its centenary celebration. <laughs> Members of the society in Kwara State walked through Taiwu Road, Ilori, to celebrate an Islamic society which was pioneered by 42 members for advancing Islam, education and humanity. Ansaruddin pioneered the setup of educational institution for Islam in, in Nigeria. Primary school, secondary school, college of education, tertiary school. We don't have a university and we are blessed to have it in Kwara State. The Islamic organization is worried about the current economic situation but wants Nigerians to be patient with the president. On the other hand, it appeals to the federal government to rejig its palliative program. For him to do palliative, for to get to the down trading, the money should be paid to the account of each and every one. They have the BVN. Start with those who are working and then cannot, cannot those who are not working. It's, it's going to be very easy. But we believe in the one future of Nigeria, in the system of Nigeria, and we are very convinced that by the grace of God, he will succeed as a president, we will succeed as a nation. We have to be very patient, persevere, and then be very prayerful. We should continue to worship our God. We should continue in this answer with him. Because we are seeing his blessing, we are seeing his mercy, and we are seeing his protection on us, on our husband, and on our children. Meanwhile, ahead of its street exhibition in November, a group of Muslim women in entrepreneurship is providing a platform for Muslim women to buy and sell lawful goods and services. In the community where we are only doing the business in Alalu, we have gathered more than a thousand plus missing women in the business and we have waiting leads who are ready to join the group. In September we also had a business summit and we have close to 1,000 vendors and uh, business oriented fellows in attendance. We also intend to have the Muslim Entrepreneur Business Trade Affair 2.0 in November. The first edition was held in March this year. Ibrahim Alige, TVC News, Ilorin.